The number of women in the New South Wales Parliament now lags behind the female representation in Victoria and federally. For many women, the thought of entering what's known as the bear pit can be off-putting. But here are four female candidates wanting to change the face of state politics. Kelly Sloan joined the Liberal lineup. She was the first new candidate for the party that's faced criticism about female representation. I'm really proud to be a woman in this party and I think it's important to differentiate the Perite government um, from perhaps the federal government. She's running in Vaucluse in Sydney's east, an area that fell federally to Teal independents who went up against male Liberal MPs. Teal's also won in Sydney's north and now Helen Conway plans to take on Liberal MP Felicity Wilson. I'm not here to fix the Liberal Party's woman problem. And that's, that's their issue and I'll leave them to fix that problem. The real question is, who is the best person placed to represent the North Shore community? This is Charisma Kaliander's third tilt at state politics. I saw the impact that me being a candidate had on people from diverse backgrounds. And she's now likely to become an MP. She's been pre-selected for Labor's very safe seat of Liverpool. It's in contrast to Greens candidate Isabella Antonou, who is contesting the Labor-held seat of Summer Hill. This is not about being winnable. This is about showing people there are options and that they deserve more. Well, these four women are from different political persuasions. They have something in common, Women for Election, an organisation that offers courses for aspiring candidates. Often I get presented with women don't seem to be interested in politics, but we've trained over 2,500 women in the last two years, so they are interested, but they just don't know how to engage in the first aspect. Being a young woman, being a young woman of cultural community, being a queer woman, I'm very aware of spaces that are not open to me. Currently, women make up 33% of members in New South Wales Parliament. That's slightly more than the percentage in Queensland, but well below Victoria, which has almost achieved gender parity. Federally, it's sitting at 44%. Looking at representation within the major parties here, Labor is at 38%. The Liberals have just under 30% women in its parliamentary ranks. I want to be part of change, you know, and, um, and I do see that change happening already. You know, it's taken longer than people would have expected. The sooner we get more women into Parliament, the sooner we'll get better decision making. It's really important that this opportunity that I kind of um, stumbled on um, isn't wasted. A new take on what political representation can look like in New South Wales. Ashley Raper, ABC News, Sydney.